and published two books. One of my first books, it can actually be found on Amazon, which is called The Seven Secret Keys to Transform Your Life and Level Up. And those keys are really the keys that helped me become the woman I am today. And my newest work, which I love and I'm so passionate about, is Credit My Success, The Credit Blueprint. Once I really tapped into credit and the opportunities that it could create, I decided to go ahead and write a book about it. And let me tell you why I decided to write that book. I feel like with the right financial knowledge and using credit the right way, it could break the chains of poverty. So this is something I'm really passionate about. You can actually find that book at www.creditmysuccess.com. And that's a really powerful, powerful book. You know, these are things that are not taught in school. These are things that people hide uh, in certain groups. And I feel like if it was taught in certain communities, it could really break the chains of lack and poverty and uh, really tap into abundance. Thank you. But you talk about credit. Credit? Yes. Yeah. So what is the title of your book? Credit My Success, The Credit Blueprint. Wow. So uh, why you choose that title? Why credit? Credit, um, well, like I said, I love credit. Uh, I think it's wonderful if it's used correctly uh, to acquire assets or maybe open businesses or invest in maybe mentorship. So why credit? Uh, for a long time, maybe early on in my career, around 22, I was making money. And I uh, spending all this money with no financial literacy. And I feel like financial literacy is really a key that we need in our communities and all over the world, truly, for all people. And I think once you really learn about credit and how to utilize it, I think it could be really powerful. And, you know, I actually locked arms with some trusted attorneys and different partners. And um, we're really, really going out there helping people really rectify their situations and get it together and to really empower people. So that's why credit. Yep. But you talk about uh, Bogat. What's Bogat? No. Oh, Bogat. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is really exciting. Yeah. So uh, we actually just have a new billboard in New Jersey. In New Jersey and <clears throat> they'll be coming all around the tri-state area. Bogat is really a lifestyle. Well, basically what Bogat means, Bogat means a wealthy person or wealth in Croatian. Now, um, I think it's more than just monetary. I think wealthy in mind, wealthy in relationships, wealthy in feelings, how you feel. So I think Bogat is really a lifestyle brand that really serves the community with everything that they possibly want, whether it's fashion, fedoras, jewelry, whether it's beautiful candles and beautiful scents that we have, whether it's pillows, home decor, whether it's uh, so many different aspects of it. I think that's really exciting. People have really been taken on to it, especially here in Queens, Long Island area. People just love it. Good. Uh, I feel that you are passionate, passionate about uh, uh, writing about uh, uh, credit. But what part of the book uh, was the most fun to write? Oh, that's a really good question. Let me think. What part of the book was the most fun? Mm, oh, you know what's really fun? Learning how to build your credit when you have terrible, terrible credit. <laughs> yeah, because credit is a life. Your credit is your life. Absolutely. Because you cannot do anything in here in the United States without credit. And I like uh, your subject, uh, bu uh, credit. But um, who inspires you about uh, writing this book? Hmm. I mean, I get so many inspirations from so many different people. Uh, let me see, who inspired me? Probably one of my good friends, uh, David and Tanisha, and some of my family members and some entrepreneurs that I've met, you know, they really poured into me. And um, they really inspired me to write this book about credit because they, they've been telling me about credit for years and sometimes you don't listen when people are trying to guide you to success. That's why the name of the book is called Credit My Success. It's really about you crediting your success. So um, those those would be some of the inspirations. Good, wonderful. But um, you, I, I read in your book that uh, you talk about uh, ownership, okay? And you said that ownership is uh, very important. 
uh, why is uh, ownership important for you personally? That's a really great question, and uh, thank you for taking the time to read the book. Yes, ownership is such a big deal, especially in this country. As you can see, I am a melanated woman, and if I feel like if you, it's really own or be owned, and if you don't own something for yourself, you can't pass it down. Unfortunately, you can't pass down your job, but you can pass down a, a profitable business to make sure that generations after you are able to sustain themselves and prosper in this world. It's really and truly about freedom for me. So ownership is very, very important. Wonderful. Thank you very much, Faith. Uh, your, you uh, inspire me, and also you are inspire my, uh, my public because uh, they uh, like to hear people like you come in here to talk about what they do. Like a young uh, lady, how old are you? I'm 29 years old. <laughs> and you are very young. And uh, this is uh, your first book, is that correct? This is my second book. Credit yeah. My Success is my second book. Okay, okay. Yeah. And what about uh, the first book? The first book is called The Seven Secret Keys to Transform Your Life and Level Up. And that's available on Amazon.com. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about uh, the subject? Sure. Um, that book was really inspiring. I wrote that during a really not so great time in my life, but I, I always knew the keys. And it's really a self-help book about clear, concise ways to transform your life and level up. As I was writing this book, I was just transforming my own life. And this book has helped people generate income, start businesses. Um, one girl bought a penthouse. She thanked me. She thanked me last year and invited me on her yacht. There's actually a video of it on my YouTube. Um, so it's really touched people and that really inspired me to continue writing the book and it's really, really, really about touching the people and helping the people. So, um, I think that's an awesome book. It's a five star book as well. Bestseller. Thank you very much, Faith. Uh, you were talking about uh, giving back, giving back to the community. Why is giving back uh, important to you? Absolutely. Uh, giving back is near and dear to my heart. Ever since I was a little girl, I remember being four years old uh, in Zimbabwe with my father on vacation. And um, there were some kids who were less fortunate. And I saw them and I was like, oh, I want to be like them. I didn't know what was going on. So they had no shoes on. And he said, no, these, these children, you know, they're less fortunate. I remember taking off my shoes and giving, giving my shoes to those children. And that's just the type of heart that my family has instilled in me. And why giving back is so important to me because I know what it's like to not have anybody in your corner and help you. If we just lend a helping hand, we can transform somebody's life. Just because someone is in a bad position now does not mean that they cannot be great tomorrow. So lend that helping hand. So uh, uh, giving back to the community help them to go up in their life. Yes. And I uh, remember that you, when you uh, first came to my office and you saw uh, the, 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 uh, the pamphlet of uh, ORGDH, mm -hmm. uh, you were very uh, impressed. impressed about it and you said, yes, I want to be part of it. Do you still want to be part of it? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> we are all in my home team. Absolutely. <laughs> wonderful, wonderful. <laughs> Faith, it was a pleasure uh, having you today. And uh, we hope that uh, it is not the last time you will come back and we will talk uh, more about uh, your, uh, your, uh, your books and also what you are doing in the community. Mm -hmm. Don't you have anything more to say about uh, anything? Sure, sure. You guys can always follow me on Faith Forward TV on Instagram and YouTube. That's F-A-I-T-H-F-O-R-W-A-R-D TV, like television, on Instagram to keep updated. And I'm really excited to partner with Mr. Nelson. Uh, we have something amazing coming in 2022. I won't reveal what that is yet, but keep your eyes peeled. It's going to be a great year. Thank you, Faith. Uh, you were at the uh, ORGDH Radio.
Now uh, we are going to listen to some Haitian music uh, and uh, the music that you are going to hear right now is uh, la vraie, Le Vrai Bonheur that comes from uh, Jack Silverjohn. <laughs> 